fire is one of the most destructive forces known to man. In a matter of just a few terrifying minutes, it can grow to a point where it's uncontrollable, consuming and destroying everything in its path. In a fire, people's lives are in extreme danger. Your ability to use a fire extinguisher could prevent a small fire growing into a large one, prevent damage to your school, or even save someone's life. In this program, we'll look at the types of fire extinguishers that you're most likely to come across, how they're operated, and how their contents are applied to the fire. The best way of explaining what a fire needs to start and to continue burning is by using what is known as the fire triangle. The three components which are essential for a fire are heat, fuel, and oxygen. The cylinders of all modern extinguishers have to be painted red to comply with European standards. A section of the extinguisher, which is usually the label or a solid band of colour, is colour-coded to help you identify them quickly. Icons are used to show pictorially which type of fire the extinguisher can be used on. When considering if you should attempt to fight a fire, your first consideration must always be safety. If you feel that you could be putting yourself or anyone else in danger, then do not attempt to fight the fire. Before taking an extinguisher, make sure that the fire alarm has been activated. Water is the most common type of fire extinguisher because the main risk from fire will be normal combustible materials, such as wood, paper, furnishings and so on. To extinguish this type of fire, you must remove the heat, and using water is the best way of doing this. Most people are aware that water and electricity do not mix. Do not use water on electrical equipment, even if it's switched off, because there is a danger of electrocution. 